Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Tip Webcast. And in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to create child domain on Windows Server 2012 R2. There are times when you need to separate or delegate some part of your Active Directory infrastructure. And the best way in those cases is to simply create a new child domain in the existing Active Directory forest. This way, you don't have to create a trust between the domains. Trusts are created automatically and are created in a two-way directions, meaning Domain A automatically trusts Domain B and Domain B automatically trusts Domain A. In order to create a child domain on your network, you will need another server or rather a domain controller. You can build that DC in your main office and then you can ship it out to the new office. That domain controller will also be a global catalog as well as the DNS server to assist all the clients in the new office with any DNS requests. You also need to prepare your current network for the new child domain. So before you begin with the new DC configuration, you need to perform certain tasks like you have to create a new site in your active directory that will represent the physical structure of your network. In my example, our main office in India and the new one is in USA. And based on that info, we have to create a new site for our USA office. In addition to the new site, we also need to create a new subnet for our new location. This new subnet should be assigned to your new location. So in this lab, I have a domain controller in our India site named srd-dc01.mylab.local and this is our parent domain named mylab.local. The IP address of this domain controller is 192.168.49.5 and it holds all the FSMO roles. On other end, we have another server named la-dc01 and the IP address is 192.168.50.3 and on that server, we are planning to install child domain. Site India and Site USA are connected through VPN. The server in a USA will hold the child domain usa.mylab.local. So before we start deploying child domain, first we need to create and configure site. So let's come back on our parent domain and on domain controller, let's click on tools and select active directory site and services. Expand sites, right click on sites and select new site. Now specify the name, uh, which is uh, USA in our example. So let's specify the name and then select default IP site link and then click on OK. An information screen pops up telling us that we need to add a subnet to the site we just created. Click on OK and that is the our next step anyway. Let's select subnet and right click on it and select new subnet. In the prefix box we have to type the subnet for the branch office. So in our case that is 192.168.50.0 slash 24 and let's select USA and let's click on OK. Now let's take care of uh, main office 2. Let's uh, right click on a default first site name and select a rename. Let's rename the default first site name to India and let's click on OK. Now we have to create a subnet for our India site as well. So let's right click on subnets and select new subnet. Now specify the prefix for our India site and that is 192.168.49.0 slash 24. Let's select India and let's click on OK. So now our Active Directory site and service should look like this. We have a two subnet 192.168.49.0 for our India site and the another subnet is 192.168.50.0 slash 24 for our US site. Now let's move to our uh, LA server and this is the server name la dc one and on this Windows Server 2012 R2 computer we want to install child domain. So let's configure networking on this server. Let's select Ethernet adapter. Let's select properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4. Let's click on property. And here, as you can see, the static IP address assigned to the server is 192.168.50.3. And this is the default gateway for us. And that is 192.168.50.1. And here, as you can see, the preferred DNS server's IP address is 192.168.49.5. And this is the IP address of our this domain controller. Let's click on OK and let's click on close. 
let's close again so let's check uh, connectivity between our these two server let's open command prompt and let's type a command ping 192.168.49.5 and here as you can see we are receiving replay from our another domain controller let's check and let's look up as well so here as we can see our dns server is also responding as well so let's close this and let's click on manage select add roles and features click on next select role base or feature base installation and then click on next on select destination server select your server in our case that is la-dc01 and click on next now on uh, select server role we have to select active directory to meet services click on add features to add required features let's click on next click on next click on next again and click on install to start the installation process so as you can see active directory to meet services role successfully installed on this server Let's click on promote this server to a domain controller. That will open Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard. On Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard, let's select Add a new domain to an existing forest. And select domain type, we have to select a chart domain. Now here, we have to select our parent domain. So let's click on select. Now here, we have to specify the credential of our Enterprise Admin Groups member. So let's specify the credential of our administrator, administrator at mylab.local and then specify the password and then click on OK. Now here we have our only one domain and that is mylab.local. Let's select it and then let's click on OK. Now here we have to specify the name of our new domain. Let's specify name USA. So the FUDN for our child domain is usa.mylab.local. Let's click on next. Now here, as you can see, the by default domain functional level is Windows Server 2012 R2 and domain server is also selected as well as global catalog. Because the server's IP address in the different site defined in Active Directory site and services, the site name has been pre-selected and that is USA. Now here we have to specify the directory service restore mode password. Let's specify the password and then let's click on next. On DNS options, you don't have to change anything. So let's uh, click on next. And now it is uh, checking for the domain database name. Now once domain database name appears, verify the database domain name and then click on next. On the path page, verify the desired location of the database, log files and sysol folder. Change the location if required, then click on next. On the review options page, click on next. Now here as you can see Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard is checking for prerequisites. Okay, so all prerequisites check pass successfully. Click on install to begin the installation. So the server will restart once configuration is completed and the server is now a domain controller for new child domain and that is usa.mylab.local. So let's verify the installation of uh, Active Directory Domain Service. Let's log on to our parent domain and on our parent domain, let's click on Sites and click on Refresh button. Now expand USA and expand Servers. Here we can see we have our server name la-dc01 and that is our child domain. Let's click on Tools. Let's select Active Directory Domains and Trusts. Expand MyLab.local. Under MyLab.local, here we can see we have a USA.MyLab.Local domain as well. Select the property of our MyLab.Local domain. And let's click on Trust. Here we can see we have an entry for our chart domain name USA.MyLab.Local and we have a trust type and that is parent child trust and that is transitive as well. Let's click on OK and let's click on Close this Actuality Domain in Trust Console. Okay, so now let's move to our child domain and after restart, let's log in to our domain as a USA slash administrator. Let's specify the password and hit enter. So once we log into our child domain, let's open server manager and on server manager dashboard, let's click on tools and select active directory users and computers. 
and here as we can see our domain name is usa.mylab.local and this is the our domain controller name la hyphen dc01 let's open dns management console expand la hyphen dc01 expand for a lookup zone and here as you can see we have only one for a lookup zone and that is usa.mylab.local let's come back to our primary domain controller Let's click on tools and let's open DNS management console. Expand our server name, expand for lookup zone, expand our zone name that is mylab.local and here as we can see we have a DNS delegation for our USHI domain. And the NS server for the delegation is la-dc01.usa.mylab.local. Let's uh, check the replication as well. Let's click on tools and select active directory site and services. Expand sites, expand our India site, expand servers, expand SRT-DC01 server and right click on NTDS settings and select all task and check for replication topology. Ok, active directory domain service on domain control SRT-DC01 dot mylab dot local has checked for replication topology. Let's refresh. And here we have a link for our LA-DC server. Let's right click on it and select replicate now. Okay. And let's do the same for our USA site. Let's expand USA site. Expand servers. Expand LA-DC01. Right click on NTDS settings and select all tasks. Check replication topology. And let's click on OK. Let's manually refresh. And let's right click on automatically generated link and select replicate now. Ok. Let's refresh it again and let's click on replicate now. Now let's come back to our child domain and let's click on la-dc01. Let's click on refresh. Let's expand for lookup zone. And here right now we have only one for lookup zone and that is usa.mylab.local. Let's manually restart the DNS server service. All task restart. Let's click on refresh. Let's expand for lookup zone and we have only one for lookup zone and that is usa.mylab.local. Let's wait for a replication process to complete and then after we'll see another for lookup zone name underscore msdcs.mylab.local. Let's click on tools. Let's select active directory site and services. Let's expand sites. Expand USA site. Expand servers. Expand LF and DC01. And right click on NTDS settings. Select all tasks. Check rep for replication topology. Click on OK. Click on refresh button. And select replicate now. Ok, let's uh, come back to our DNS server and let's again click on refresh and let's uh, restore the DNS service. Ok, let's expand for lookup zone and here we have a zone name underscore msdcs.mylab.local and this is the our domain specific for lookup zone and that is usa.mylab.local. So in this way, we can create a child domain on Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.